Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be doing a real verse fake comparison of the Air Jordan 1 Energy, aka the Gold Toes. And not to be confused with the Air Jordan Top 3s that released only at ComplexCon. This is the one that released back in February. And I'm going to be using a pair of Air Jordan Royal 1s for a comparison. And the reason why I thought I should do the real verse fake is because the last one did so well with the Black Cement. And you guys have been asking me to do more real verse fake comparisons. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. And uh... Just a, what's the word, just a disclaimer, I don't care if people wear fakes. I don't know why everybody in the last comment was like, oh, let people wear, I'm like, I don't care. This video is solely made for the people that are spending over retail prices for real sneakers. So say you're trying to buy a pair of sneakers that you missed out on the day that they released, and Jordan, Jordan 1's retail for 160 so you're probably going to end up paying resale of $40 or more, so you're probably going to spend 200 or more on the resale version, or sorry, for a resale pair and most people they want to know if they're make they're buying the right thing or not because if people want to buy fakes there's several different websites that you can go to and buy fakes but some people they, they want to make sure that they're spending their hard-earned money on real pairs and to me it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day most of these shoes are all made in china so me personally i don't care wear your shoes as long as your outfit is nice i don't have nothing to say about it what type of grown man or grown woman goes up to you and be like oh man your shoes are fake oh your validation in life, oh man, your life sucks, oh gosh, no one cares. Anywho, let's go ahead and get straight into the comparison. So on the right pair is a real pair of Jordan 1s, and on the left is a fake pair. And the crazy thing is, I have three pairs of Jordan 1s, right? I have the Gold Toes, the Royals, and the Cyber Mondays, and they literally all look the same from first glance. So if I turn the shoe over, they're the same height. And let me just go ahead and put this up for comparison. Literally, the shoes are the same height. Literally. Like, the only way you're going to be able to tell if these shoes are fake or real is to actually just look at them up close. So, that's what we're going to do. So, basically, like, even the, the real test right here, the stitching that goes above the swoosh right here, the fakes, this angle part right here, that forms the right angle, it'll be way lower. But as you can see... The stitching is above, and it doesn't, the corner should not touch the swoosh. And on both pairs, it's above the swoosh. So, with that being said, most fakes will, most fakes will have it. Most fakes will have the, uh, the point on top of the swoosh, and the real pairs won't. But these are like the, these are considered like the authentic quality replicas. So, they're so close to the point where like you wouldn't be able to tell unless you smelled them, because... The fake pairs, they usually smell like a lot of glue and chemicals. So that's just another thing. If your shoes smell like straight chemicals, they're most likely fake. Real shoes, they have like that uh, either new car smell, or they just smell like... They, they won't smell like glue, basically. And another thing that you guys want to look out for is the toe box. So let me go ahead and zoom in on the toe boxes for comparison. Basically, the stars... Let me go ahead and focus real quick. The stars on the fakes, they're not defined. As you can see, they don't really look like stars. They look more like blobs. If I can bring this in closer. As you can see, on the fakes, the stars aren't very defined. But on the real pair... The stars are very defined. I gotta go ahead and focus this one more time. Yeah, as you can see, they're very defined. The stars go all the way to the top to the top of the toe box. And on the back right here. It's a little bit hard to see. Let me focus real quick. See the stars are on the back as well. So yeah, that's just something to look out for. And Another thing that you want to look out for on the fakes is the detailing on the Wings logo. The Wings logo, it's like, for the fake pairs, the Wings logo, it has like a lot of gaps inside of it. Like the real one would be like very glossy. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. The fake ones usually have a very glossy finish on the Wings logo. 
but on the real pair, it's not as glossy. And notice the TMs on the Wings logo as well. The TM actually touches the wings, but on the fakes, the TM is above the Wings logo. The TM should be touching the Wings logo right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in for a comparison so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see that? You see how the TM is touching the Wings logo? On the fakes, the TM is above the line. It should The TM should actually be touching the line. So that's just a small thing to notice for. It's, it's like one of those things like you won't be able to tell unless you look close at the shoe. That's what I'm saying. Like It really doesn't matter if you wear a real or fake at this point because people can barely tell. So that's just something to look at. And as far as the height, usually the fakes, they have a wider cut. It's right here. But for this fake pair, the cut looks pretty similar. You see this part right here? It has like a a dip but on the fake is like super it, it doesn't really it doesn't dip it just stands up high like it should curve down backwards right here but on the fakes it just curves up instead of curving down and let me go ahead and show you guys from the side how different it is you see what I'm talking about the curve it goes up but on the real pair it should be curving downwards like that see how high the cut is right there the cut should be lower yeah, what else should I mention? Oh yeah, so basically, the fakes, like if you put them on top of a table or a box, you'll see that the bottom of the shoes will be raised very high. For this particular pair of fakes, you can't really tell. But I'll put the pictures, like while I'm talking about them, I'm going to put like the real versus fake pictures on top of the screen so that we can have, because I have, I have a really good pair of fakes, so I guess... It makes it a little bit harder for the comparison sake. But uh, yeah, just look at the picture in the corner of the screen. And you'll notice that the fakes, the, the heel, it raises up higher. And also, another thing you want to look out for is the curve. Both of these have the curve, but like every real pair, the back of the shoe should curve. You see this? Curve. It should not go straight down. It should not be, it should not be straight like the phone. There should be a curve. So go ahead and look out for that as well. And let me see what else I'm missing. I already talked about the cut. Uh, the production dates. People say that they matter. I've been told that the production dates are usually different on each pair. They say that the real production date is started around on October of 2017. This pair right here. What does the production date say? The production date, it says... It says October 17th. So, it could be, it could not meet. But a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter. So I guess that's discretion is up to you. And another thing I want to talk about, this, this one is actually very helpful. Especially if you don't have, like, a picture for reference. This is, like, a very easy way to tell. I'm going to turn off the lights for this one. So basically, what you're going to need is a UV light. You see this light right here? It has, it's a UV light. Let me go ahead and turn the camera a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is, you point the UV light, you see that? On the fake pair, the stitches on the side paneling of the shoe, they illuminate blue. But on the real pair, you don't see any lines lighting up. And that's how you tell the difference. So you get a UV light. Having a UV light makes it so easy to tell if a shoe is fake. For certain shoes, the stitching will light up. You see that right here? It doesn't light up on the real pair. On the fake pair, the stitching lights up. So that's just a very quick and simple way to tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real versus fake comparison. If there was anything I missed out on, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me if I was wrong. Tell me if I was right. Just go ahead and give your honest feedback. Like I said, I really don't care if you wear real or fake sneakers. I'm just making this video for educational purposes. We should support... Uh, we should re we should support the original makers of the shoes, but when they keep raising up the prices and keep lowering the quality, and the fakes are getting as good as the as the so un the quote unquote authentic quality, it's really up to you as a consumer if you want to continue to spend more money on worse quality when you could just buy fakes. So, buying really fake, it's up to you. So uh, I'm out. Peace.
ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the 